Let's turn to the politics, which are also very interesting today in Sweden, a very uncertain political future in that country. Preliminary results from yesterday's election put the country's two main parliamentary blocs in a dead heat and a far-right anti-immigration party holding a lot of sway now. Thomas Dagg is in our bureau in London looking at the results and the shift in Sweden. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Heather. This is the best result yet for the anti-immigration far-right party innocuously known as the Sweden Democrats. Behind that name is a party that wants to send refugees back to their native countries and not allow any more asylum seekers into Sweden. Now, traditionally, Sweden has been known as a land of social liberalism. Uh, Prime Minister Stefan Levain and his center-left party lead the government as it stands. Now, from the point of view of the size of the population, uh, Sweden allowed in more asylum seekers at the height of the migration crisis in 2015 than any other EU country, 163,000. And the Sweden Democrats seized on that, seized on some of the fears among the Swedish people. They tied the rise in immigration to a rise in gun violence, uh, even though uh, independent experts have not made that correlation. And it worked. The leader of the party says they won last night. In fact, they didn't win. They got uh, just under 18% uh, of the vote. But with their gains, the two main center-left and center-right alliances are in a dead heat, and it's unclear who will form the next government in Sweden, Heather. So these gains that this far-right party made in this vote, um, obviously this is the subject of discussion today. What do you think their role will be in whatever government structure they come up with there in Sweden? Well, that government structure is going to be uh, debated for the coming uh, weeks. But both sides, uh, both coalitions on the center, left and, and right, they say that they're not willing to entertain the idea of having those Sweden Democrats, that far-right party, enter into a coalition. In fact, uh, the prime minister, uh, Stefan Levain, uh, said last night that all that uh, party offers is hatred. Uh, the party, though, made last night, they made clear on this result they expect to be the, the so-called kingmakers. Uh, they feel they, they hold the balance of power now. Uh, here is one of their spokespeople explaining. What we've seen here is, is a political earthquake uh, in regards to Swedish political history. And I think that uh, the leaders of the two big parties, the Social Democrats and the Moderate Party, need to listen to this signal from the Swedish people, need to, to change the policies uh, that, that the Swedish people want to see. They want to see real change. Now, this result is not quite as good as the party had uh, hoped, but the results again show what we've seen elsewhere in Europe, including here in Britain as well, how anti-immigration rhetoric has gone from the far-right political fringe to something closer to the mainstream, a message that not a majority, but a sizable portion of the population is willing to support with their vote, Heather. Thomas Dagg from London, thank you very much.